Good morning, Mel. Yeah. Uh, my name is Howard Elfman. I'm running for City Commission District 2 also. I want to give you a little idea about my background, and I really appreciate seeing you all here. It's great to have a very active homeowners association. Not all the homeowners association are as active as you are. Part of my background is I've been here for 20 years. Uh, I was in the corporate world for the first 10. I was doing strategic relationships between companies, Big Five Consulting. And I decided after a world of travel, I really wanted to stay a little bit closer to my community. So I opened up a, a real estate company nine years ago, Distinctive Homes Realty, and I have been in every community throughout District 2, not just for political reasons. I work in every single neighborhood here and have consistently done so for the last nine to ten years. And there are some problems that I've seen recently within these last couple years, which is why I'm running. Reason number one is I feel that our city needs to be run as a business. First issue is economic development, and that's become the new buzzword, but let me explain what that means to me. In economic development, we have businesses that are leaving, we have businesses that are going out of business, and we're doing nothing to attract new businesses here. We have other cities and other states that are actually targeting our marine and also targeting our tourism industry and trying to bring them out by offering tax incentives, relationships with community colleges, by offering intern programs for cheaper labor, training their workforce. Uh, they also assign somebody in the city to be able to take them through the code process a lot easier than we have right here. But let's say what that means to you. If you're a small business person, if we take a look at statistics right now, the last 12 months, this zip code, we have over 3,800 new unemployment claims. When we take a look at District 2, 5,000. Take a look at how affected your district is. So when we take a look at economic development, it does affect every one of you. 3,800 homes have been affected. So what we need to do is we need to have a program for effective economic development. What we need to do is we need to have the city working with the private industry. Right now, economic development is a one-person uh, one person department, and they're not communicating with the chambers. They're not communicating with the Broward Alliance, and we need to change that. And my goal is to be able to have all of the departments communicating both private and public sector. The other item we have as far as crime, and I'm glad the statistics are down, but we used to have what we call community policing, and that's where you had police officers that were walking the beat in your neighborhood. Those police officers were assigned in your neighborhood, and we've gone away from that. When they're assigned there, they understand who the bad guys are in that particular area. They understand that that's a crack house over there. They understand that that's been vacant for a while. They know your neighborhood inside and out, and we got away from that model. We've done great with the street crimes unit, but while they're out there in a different neighborhood fighting the drug dealers, they're neglecting your neighborhood. And I would support bringing community policing back. The other issue I'd really like to be able to see is we lost our – did we dangle? I'll continue because I'm sure it's going to come with questions. Thank you.